Simpleton Review Podcast. I am your host, Nate, or otherwise known as Simpleton Number One. And I'm Charlie Gibson. I'm Simpleton Number Two. I'm Lemuel Edwards, Simpleton Number Three. Yes, and Lemuel Edwards obviously has some problems with his computer. He doesn't know how to keep it quiet, or his wife is making noise in the background or something, because it keeps on switching back to him like he breathes funny, <laughs> and the computer is picking it up. Because there it goes again. It's picking it up. Like, Hold on. I'll fix it. I'll see fix on the it. side, like it turns yellow when it's on you, right? And half the time, it's on Lemuel. Like right now, it's on Lemuel. <laughs> there. I fixed it, hopefully. <laughs> How'd you fix it? I turned it back on auto. What's auto? The background suppression. The background suppression. That's yes. probably <laughs> that's probably a good idea. So what's going on, guys? How's everything been hanging since the last time we chatted? Uh, it's all been work for me. Just keep going every day. Um, been fortunate enough that way. We'll take it because uh, a lot of people are in lockdown. Yeah. Has it been busy? Um, for, for a quarter staff. Yes. Oh, okay. So they haven't had everybody working just uh, part staff. Yes. No. Are they going to bring everybody back when the quarantine's lifted? Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure that they'll at least bring it up to half staff for the first, uh, first round, but we'll see. It's okay. all going to be measured on what the, all the regulations are. All right. Yeah. It's fascinating to me that, uh, you know, it, it's funny because, I don't want to give my political views on a lot of this stuff, but uh, it's interesting that it's so the government says, okay, you're closed except for the stores that are open. You know what I mean? So it's like, so there's a lot of stores such as yourselves, like where you work that is open where I'm like, okay, I understand that you guys sell refrigerators and appliances and things like that. So it kind of makes sense that you're open, but at the same time, it doesn't make sense that you guys are open. You know what I mean? Because you can, uh, you know, you could probably wait. If your refrigerator goes out, it you could probably call a repairman to fix it. You don't have to go buy another fridge. I'm just saying. That's if the repairmen are all running. Well, but they are, but see, because they're all essential. So you've got the stores that are essential, and you've got the repairmen that are essential, and the plumbers that are essential, and the lawnmower man that is, that is essential. And so really, I, I know people are going to disagree with me on this, but I would wager a guess that there's probably about 70% of this entire state that never actually stopped working. I'd agree. I don't know. It just, if you drive around town, it, it feels like it's, 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 I don't know. I don't know how much, if it worked, it worked great. I mean, I got to give kudos to, to our governor because he's, he's taking a lot of slack uh, for uh, uh, doing what he's done and to continue to, um, you know, try to fight the, the virus as, as best as he knows how. And from his own party, including his own lieutenant governor, who decided to have a rally yesterday in support of opening the state up and be part of all of these three percenters and all this other libertarian stuff that goes on. I was just like, wow, you know, what an awesome time to live in Idaho. <clears throat> just saying. <laughs> no kidding. Anyway. All right. Well, let's get on. Let's actually do what this, uh, what this program is about and let's review something. So we're going to talk about AWOL Nation's brand new album. What's it called? Angel Miners and Divinair and Lightning Riders. Winders and what is it called? Uh, Angel Miners and Lightning Riders. But I think right. we have like Angel a... Angel Blinders and Divili Bluebergies, right? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it is AWOL Nation we're talking about. AWOL Nation, yeah. <laughs> and, and who is AWOL Nation? Who knows enough about this band to talk about them? Who wants to talk about them? Um, I wouldn't know a, like a lot, but I listen to most of his music, and this album is, follows suit with how most of his other albums sound. Um for anyone who might not necessarily recognize the name right off the bat, he his most popular song is Sail, um, which was everywhere when it came out for a time. But, right, including uh, was, on the Vikings TV show until they got a real good song. Correct, yep. <laughs> hey, whoa, that's an okay song if, if you're sad, if you're sad boy hours. It's, it, it's a good song, but I mean, really the only part that had to deal with maybe Vikings would be the fact that he says, Sail! Other than that, if you yeah. actually listen to the lyrics, <laughs> he's sense. like, you know, you know, blame it on my ADD, baby. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm, really? I mean, are the Vikings, they had ADD? Is that why they were so vicious and went and conquered other, you know, countries and stuff? I mean, they didn't know how to test for it back then. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Yeah, Ragnar Lothbrok was ADD. Should have gotten him to Ritalin. Everything would have been fine. Would have been yep. peaceful. Just, you know, none of this raiding and pillaging and raping and torturing. No, just give him to Ritalin. It was all good. Then he would have sat down and said, hey, bro, want some mead? <laughs> Strip some mead. I know. Okay. So, all right. That wasn't funny. I know it wasn't funny. Okay. Lemuel, uh, you're the one that um, actually wanted to review this album. So tell me about it. What was your, what was uh, your favorite track? What did you think of the album? Go for it. The actual album uh, didn't actually release until just two days ago. I mean, the four songs have been out for a while, but yeah. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I listened to it like three times when it came out. Uh, okay. I liked it a lot. Uh, okay. I'd say the ones I uh, recognize the most, the ones I like, are probably Slam, Fiesta Fever, and I'm a Wreck were probably Slam. the ones that okay. I liked the most. Um, the most forgettable track, I'd say, is Battered black and blue every time i come across it i like have to try to remember and i can it's harder for me to pick out than the rest of them really interesting yeah. okay was there so that was the one you didn't like the best so overall did you like the album yeah it was fun it was fun okay. to jam to i uh, in my car jam right jam in your little hyundai uh actually we uh switched we got a better uh deal on a Sentra. Nissan Sentra, so <laughs> lower percentage, and we're paying yeah. the same still. Okay, all right. I uh, I'll keep my comments to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, what's up, man? Did you uh, did you hey. like the album or not? Ha I first did of like all, have album. you been a big A Wall Nations fan, or do you just kind of like meh or what? Uh, I like I like their concept. I like their way they can do things. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not a huge fan of like their overall repertoire because uh, it's like, I, I can't put it on a playlist and yeah. stuff because it erupts out because it's kind of like, it's kind of like what uh, system of a down did for like metal, you know, where you get <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden yeah. you get this operatic break and, yeah. <laughs> and it explodes all over the place. Yeah. And so it, you have to, you have to know, I mean, you go into a wall nation as a choice yeah. and you choose to listen to them. It's not something that like pops on and, and you're like, Oh yeah, this is going to be great. Right. Right. Uh, right. It is a, it is a nice surprise. If you heard some of their tracks on the radio, it is like totally refreshing for what's out there. Well, I'll tell you, I, I think what I think about the guy is he doesn't know how to be um, uh, quaint. Um, <laughs> Truth. I mean, he's Truth. just like, ah! Here I am! Yeah, this is to very me. loud. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's a lot like uh, mindless self indulgence that way. That guy, I mean, <laughs> it kind of like it's yeah. it's a uh, junior hires turning into mu musicians without growing up, <laughs> so they can like keep going with that stream of consciousness, right. and, and right. it just nails it every time. <laughs> right. Yeah, I think what I what I get from when I listen to A Wall Nation is I really like their catchy hooks that they come up with they do have a lot of really cool hooks and then um you're listening along and then after about the seventh time of hearing that same stupid hook over and over <laughs> again you're like really done listening to it so it's like i mean it's really good for about 20 seconds it's like dude okay can we have a little bit of variety in this four minute song because right now you're killing me smalls you're killing me okay and not only that that their lyrics i mean i think pretty much every single song in the AWOL Nation's repertoire is about three sentences, right? There's really only about one verse that he keeps on repeating over and over and over and over again. Every single song, it doesn't matter. Listen to it over and over and over and over and over again. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Correct oh, me. Wrong. <laughs> no. Okay. So yeah, it's Part, literally Parts of it remind like me of mantra. the Red Hot Chili Peppers that way. Yeah, yeah. Especially that song that, there's one Chili Pepper song. I hate <laughs> I mean, I really, I really like the Chili Peppers. I actually, I really do. But there's that one song off of uh, what is it? Their album, Blood Sugar Sex Magic, um, that goes, uh, "Give it away now." That song, you know that song, Charlie? Give it away, give it away, give it away. Everybody's God. favorite. <laughs> I want to just punch him in the face. I mean, if he wants me to give something away, I'm gonna give him a big knuckle sandwich. That's what I'm gonna give away because he just like. But again, most of the time, I really do like. The Chili Peppers, but you're right. They have a lot of repetitive songs, but I think AWOL Nation is actually worse. 
Yeah, most of their songs are literally like one or two sentences long. Like Run is literally uh, I'm a terrible or I'm a human being capable of terrible things. Like yeah. that's the entire song. And I understand they're techno. Yeah, they have a lot of Danger Mouse influence. You can really hear it in there. Yeah, Just that's like good in, point. in certain tracks. That's a good point. That's a good point. I, I do. I don't mind the album. I mean, it's good. But like you said, you really got to be in the mood to listen to them. The one track I like the most was the one track that may actually have been a real song. And the reason why it's a real song is because it's got Rivers Cuomo in it, man. It's got Weezer <laughs> singing on it. So, of course, it's the actual only real song on the whole album, if you ask me. I'm just saying. <laughs> no? Anybody got a hot take? Is that it? Is that the only hot take you I... got on this? liked the album is all i gotta say yeah (laughs) okay so everybody you gotta realize that simpleton number three is 22 years old almost not even 22 yet and simpleton number two is uh what you're 45 or 46 46 46 and i'm 45 years old so there's a whole generation difference between lemuel and, <laughs> yeah. and, and charlie and i so and, and look there was plenty of techno around when we were kids it's not like it's a new thing really but no it do, this album even shows it has a lot of 80s sound to it, it so does. you'll notice like some of the samples remind you of like simple minds and and echo and the muddy men and bunnyman and yep. and a few others like that except so. they actually had more than three sentences in their verses <laughs> Well, yeah, I'm not talking the songs. I'm saying the samples. <laughs> sure. Yeah, no, the samples are great. And and but and what I do like about AWOL Nation is that they don't just rely on the keyboards and stuff. I mean, they got guitars and they've got some real drums in some of their songs. So it's not like it's just all, you know, um, all sampled, all sequenced, all that kind of stuff. So I do appreciate that. And I do like the, like we were talking about that hardness, that hard hitting sound that they do have. But you have to be in the mood for it. That's for sure. Or it's the only thing you're going to listen to. Like, you know, back in the day when we put on a CD and listen to the whole, I know that's weird to comprehend, but we would listen to the whole record at one time, even. Anyway, that's how you'd have to listen to this album, in my mind. Anybody? Either that or else you're going to mix it with all their other stuff. I mean, you're going to find, you can find other genres that mix with it, but you have to be in the mood for that set i mean it's not like you can mix that you can't throw it you can't mix in a little deftones and a little uh, uh of anything i mean it's definitely its own well if you mixed in <laughs> deftones and you went from deftones to awol nation that would be really i'd be like uh, yeah. ah! you know i mean just be it would just be startling right i mean because you'd be smoking your doobie when you're listening to the Deftones. <laughs> and then you'd be popping the ecstasy after you switched to AWOL. <laughs> Don't do drugs, kids. Absolutely. Just saying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am not speaking from experience. I truly, honestly... Uh, I'm 100% accurate on that. I've maybe smoked a cigarette once in my life, so don't even – I don't know. I've never done ecstasy. I'm hoping my son hasn't either. Oh. <laughs> <It's the only laughs> no, I have not. <laughs> I mean – yeah right Mm -hmm. okay (laughs) all right let's 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 give our rating on this album awol nation lemuel you are the one that wanted to review this record album cd amazon thing spotify playlist whatever you want to call it these days uh what did you release uh itunes album uh definitely four out of five four out of five there you go charlie i give it a three I'm going to stay constant with that. It was good sound. Um, again, the lyric issue was, was strong with me, but I can find myself listening to it every once in a while. So, You're a tough kitty, man. You, you, you are, you're a hard, hard judger. Those, those fours and fives come hard with you, don't they? Uh, yeah. I have, to, I have to like the whole album. Okay. I mean, I have, to, I have to be able to put on a playlist at least five songs to give it a four star. Very good. Very good. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, I am on Zoom. We're recording this on Zoom, and I just got a message saying, you're running out of time. So I guess we better go. I will give this <laughs> album a two and a half. Yes, a two and a half. It's fun to bounce around to, but I probably will not come back to it anytime in the near future. That said, AWOL Nation, not, I mean, it's, it's okay. So the name of the album again was what, Lemuel? 
Uh, Angel Miners and Lightning Riders. If you like AWOL Nation, go check it out. It is now on every streaming platform you want to go to, Spotify, iTunes, Amazon. I'm sure you could order it old-fashioned style in a CD if you want to do that. So go do that. I am Nate Wade or Nate Edwards, whatever you want to call me. My monocle is my monocle. No, I'm not a monocle. I'm a moniker. There we go. <laughs> not a monocle. It's like that. Anyway, my moniker is Nate Wade online, so you can find me there. I'm Simpleton number one. And I'm Charlie Gibson, Simpleton number two. There we go. I'm Lemuel Edwards, people. Simpleton number three. All right. <laughs> simpleton number one, Simpleton number two, and Simpleton number three. I've got to teach these guys uh, that this is a podcast, which means they have to talk. Can't have pauses. It's terrible that way. Anyway, okay, <laughs> yeah. guys, we'll just keep running day. with it. Yeah. We'll talk to you later on Simpleton Review Podcast. Indie Blast Podcast Network.